Okay, so we have an example. We need to locate the vector in space. So the question says locate and graph. And we're given a vector v is equal to 3, 4, minus 2. So we need to draw our 3D axes. So this is our y. This is our x, our minus y, our minus x, and then this is our z axis. So positive and negative z. So I'm just going to add some points to my axes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Five, six, and I'll add a few on the Z. Okay, so this is our center, our zero, zero, zero. And from the center, we need to graph. So we've got three units on our, so this is going to be our X, Y, and Z. So three on our x, so this is 1, 2, 3, so this is 3 here, and then, so let's mark this in green, there we go, and then we're going to go to 4 on the y, so positive y, 1, 2, 3, 4, so this is our 4 on the y, so we're going to mark this as 4. And then we need to go minus 2 on the z. So before we do that, we need to, this is parallel. So we need a parallel line here that is going to join up with our, that's not quite right, with our point here. So this is our point three four zero but we need three four minus two so if we look to the distance on our z coordinates so let's use yellow so from here so we said this is minus two we need the same distance or the same length so this is going to go so this would be roughly minus 2. And this would be forming a parallelogram like this. So this is our coordinate here, which is 3, 4, and minus 2. So now all I need to do is just join up this line from 0, 0, 0. And this is our vector. And we're going to call this, this is vector v. So we've plotted the point and we've drawn v with the terminal point at 3, 4, minus 2. Okay, some practice questions that you need to try. So locate and graph vector u and then locate and graph vector oops vector w okay so let's have a look at u so vector u so if we draw our 3d grid we're going to have uh, x minus x, y, minus y, uh, z, minus z. And then I'm going to mark on some points. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, not quite accurate, but 
get the idea. Okay, so the first one, minus 4, 2, minus 3. So this time, we're going to go in the minus direction, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is our minus 4. And then 2 on the y. So here's 2 on the y. So we need this point to join. So we need to do parallel lines. And this is the point. So this is our point, which is going to be minus 4, 2. Now we need minus 3 on the z. So if we go down 1, 2, 3, this is the distance we need. So 1, 2, 3. So this is going to be our vector. So from the center to this point, and this is our terminal point which is going to be at minus 4, 2, minus 3. Okay. And then if we look at the second, so let's just move this over. Not quite. So I'll try again. Let's put that over there. Okay, so let's have a look at this uh, this one here now. So we've got three different numbers here. So we can rewrite these. So this is going to be minus 1, minus 3, and 4. So we need to locate and draw. So let's have a look at our axes, so y, x, z, minus x, minus y, minus z, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, so, and here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we need to find these points. We've got minus 1. So this is minus 1 on the x. Minus 3 on the y is going to be minus 3 here. So we need to draw parallel with our axes. It's not quite right. Let's try that again. So this line. So our point is about here. And then it says we need to go 4 up. So if we were to go 4 up from the 0 point here, 1, 2, 3, 4, we need our line to be about the same length. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to be about right. And then we draw our line. For our vector. So oh, we didn't label this one. So this was u and this is w. So our terminal point for our vector okay, is 4 minus i minus 3j and 4k.